Kadena here from KadenaTate.com. I was asked the question recently, Kadena, so many people, they want my service, but they say they can't afford it. What can I do to um, earn more money? This is such a complex question, and there's so many different directions that I could take the answer, but I'm going to narrow it down to really three things. Number one, a person may perceive that you're overpriced. Number two, a person may perceive that you are underpriced. And number three, that you lack a clear and compelling value proposition of what's the result-based benefit of working with you. So often, we think that things are um, almost like we expect people to read our minds. We think that they, they clearly understand the value of working with us. And what I can tell you is they don't always understand. And oftentimes what I've discovered is that we even have to um, give people tips, okay, of how to refer us to other people. Because I've had I've had clients in the past after working with me, and I'm thinking they clearly know what I do, right? They will send people to me and say, just call her. I mean, she's really good at what she does. And the person says, well, what does she do? And they'll say everything. It just blows my mind. So we have to take the time to learn how to sell our solutions. We have to be able to talk to a person about what's the transformational benefit of working with us. So, for example, the transformation can be both tangible and intangible. If you are a coach, you might, yes, help someone to um, lose weight, uh, lower their blood sugar, or you may help someone uh, decrease stress levels. You might help someone earn more money. You might help someone become more productive, you know, creating certain systems. You may help a person become literate in a certain area of pro or develop a certain proficiency with something that they weren't proficient in before. You may save a person time and money. On the other side of the coin, what you also might be doing is helping people with peace of mind, okay? Helping people to sleep better at night decreasing levels of worry, anxiety, and stress. Those are intangible. Um, helping a person learn how to communicate more effectively through the verbal or written word. The bottom line is, what's the transformation? You have to know what the transformation is so that you can be able to communicate that to your prospective clients. As it relates to being underpriced or overpriced, I really believe that the bigger the problem, the larger the paycheck. And so <laughs> small problems have small paychecks. It's just really, that's as simply as I can put it from a place of truth and transparency. And I just want you to know that at the end of the day, you need to really be clear on what motivates what's driving them to invest in your solution. I believe that um, needs, things that people need, they make those buying decisions based upon logic. But the things that people want, they make those buying decisions on emotion. And so what you want to do is arouse curiosity. You want to give people the feeling that when they work with you, they're going to be empowered you also want to help people see the possibilities of what life would be like with the solution that you're offering. And finally, you want to create some sense of urgency. Now remember, I don't believe in control, manipulation, or usury. I believe that you use things, not people. So really give people the gift of um, transparency, okay, integrity, and honesty. Ask effective questions so that you can determine um, discover their needs and then ask yourself if you're really willing to help them solve whatever the problem is. Be a leader of leaders, a teacher of teachers. Be a person who walks your talk and talks your walk. So I hope this has answered your question and I just wish you every success. My name is Kadena Tate. You can visit me at kadenatate.com. Have a fantastic day. Thank you.